Stanford Research Institute scientists Russell Targ and Hal Putoff felt that the space-time anomalies of psychic phenomena could somehow be linked to the equally strange behavior of subatomic particles as produced in particle collisions at the Fermilab accelerator. Hal and I were both laser physicists and with a passion to understand how psychic abilities could be reconciled with what we thought we knew about modern physics. So we began an examination of psychic abilities to try and make sense out of what was being seen in the laboratories at that time. So we had a really a theoretical desire to make sense out of this elusive phenomena. They began with telepathic experiments in the San Francisco area. These led to work with the CIA. The gifted psychic Pat Price was able, on the basis of a map reference, to imagine and draw installations in the heart of the USSR. To a scientist trying to understand these phenomena, it pointed to one salient fact. Principally, we found that the increased distance between the viewer and the distant location, the magnitude of that distance didn't matter at all, which is to say it's no harder to describe a location 10,000 miles away in Soviet Union or in China or in Iran than it is across the street in the city of Palo Alto. This resonated in a scientist familiar with quantum physics. Elementary particles explode when they collide. Many of these experiments have shown that twin photons or elementary particles, when separated by great distances, remain connected. If one changes its spin, the other does so instantaneously. Information transfer faster than the speed of light. Both psychic functioning and the connection between photons demonstrate that we live in a non-local world. David Bohm, the distinguished American physicist, talked about quantum interconnectedness as the description of the universe in which we live. And it's this quantum interconnectedness, a kind of holographic picture of space-time that allows the twin photons that are born together to remain in contact over distant separations and also allows a psychic to make contact with a distant friend or a distant location. In consciousness, there is no separation between us.